I'm inside 3ds Max using the V-Ray render engine. This is the V-Ray frame buffer. I have an HDR eye image that I rendered out. If I right mouse click that pixel information box is going to read the pixel value underneath my cursor and you'll notice that I'm staying st staying pretty much pure white. The color 8-bit value is 255, 255, 255, the red, green, blue. A monitor uh, display LCD works in red, green, blue and it can only the highest display value it can display is pure white, which is 255, 255, 255. Um, but there's so much more information that you can you can get from your image, and that's the float value. So here in V-Ray, I'm using the virtual camera, and I'm adjusting my camera settings, my f-stop, my ISO, my shutter speed. So I have a I have an exposed image, which this is. And um, here in my I go to my render settings. And down here in color mapping, you notice that I have clamp output turned off. I have it turned off because although I want a, I want my image to be exposed, I want the information to be stored where I can access it later in post. So I am exposing. This image is exposed, uh, but here in Photoshop, if I open that image, it saves as an EXR unclamped now I have access to all that information pixel information that I normally would throw away if I didn't save it as an EXR so I can overexpose I can underexpose a lot, a lot of flexibility um, otherwise there in photo in, a, in 3ds Max using V-Ray you'd have to readjust your camera settings render it out again some of these renders take hours and let's say you you know you render it out takes three four hours come back and it's just not not spot on so you tweak your settings, render again. This way you can render it out unclamped, have all that pixel information saved in the file, come into Photoshop, open it up as an EXR, and expose your settings. Um, so if you're going to get really serious about um, high-end illustration, photo illustration, or photo real illustration work, and, and the interoperability between 3ds Max and, and Photoshop, I'd highly recommend rendering out in a high def using EXR.